What are we watching here? Well, those guys up there on the yellow truck, they're taking down the overhead electric wires that the electric buses run on. And they're doing that because tomorrow they're going to bring in this big mobile crane. And they're going to use that mobile crane to take down tower crane number two. Yes, it's actually a mobile crane that's bigger and higher than tower crane number two. They're going to close that entire block of Post Street and put together that crane. And obviously you don't want uh, electric wires in the way while there's a mobile crane working, so they're taking that down. And in this video, we're going to watch them assemble that mobile crane. Uh, we're not actually going to watch them take down tower crane number two, which is the one on the left. Uh, this video is just about the assembly of the mobile crane. There will be a separate video later about uh, actually taking down tower crane number two. I shot most of this video from the best vantage point I could get, which was from a public area of this building right on the street facing the crane. It does have all this structure in the way, all these window frames. Not much I could do about that because it's open several stories to the lobby below, one of those cool architectural things, which means I couldn't get the camera right up next to the window. So you're going to see the window and the structure in some of the shots, but that's the way it goes, best I could do. By the time I got here, they were already fairly far along. You can see they've already brought in the base of the crane, which they drive in, and they've already put most of the big weights on there to uh, hold it down. They started very early in the morning, like construction normally does, and, and I wasn't here. But I'm here now in the morning, and they're starting to put the first piece, uh, attach the first piece of the crane to the base. Just for kind of a change of pace, in this video I'm going to be kind of rambling on a bit uh, rather than having music. Um, I don't really know a lot about cranes, unfortunately, so most of what I say is probably not going to be any technical information or anything cool like that. I'm just going to ramble on. If you don't want to listen to me, you know, turn, turn off the sound, uh, put on your own music. As usual in any, most of the videos on this channel, uh, you know, play whatever music you like if you don't want to listen to me. Every once in a while I do hear from someone involved in the construction and you know I, I sometimes wonder what they think about me spying on them. I, I, I want to assure you there's no malicious intent there. It's just interesting what the heck you guys do. But if, if anyone out there does know about tower cranes or someone working on here wants to uh, contact me and we could uh, tell me what's going on in all these shots, you know, I, I could always make another version of this video with uh, a more intelligent narration that would be cool but uh, I, I don't know if that would ever happen there's ob obviously legal issues that occur and people don't want to uh, the company they work for doesn't want anyone speaking for them blah 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 the lawyers get mad whatever so that may not happen but who knows if there's someone out there who uh, knows about this crane and wants to uh, help me provide a more intelligent narration. I could always redo this video describing all the things going on. Who knows, that could happen. You never know. I did actually get uh, more than one anonymous tip uh, of the exact date that tower crane number two was coming down, so I knew ahead of time, and I, I thank those people who shall remain anonymous for those tips, so keep those tips coming in. Uh, I thought uh, a few days before this was going to happen, I thought I had a really good rooftop position down on the east end of the street uh, overlooking everything. It would have been great. Unfortunately, it fell through at the last minute. Uh, but then I found someone else up at the other end of the street, uh, the uh, western end, also a rooftop position that would have been uh, great as well, but that fell through at the last minute too, so kind of bad luck on that. So the only position I've got is here in this public area of a building uh, uh, directly facing it, which is good because it's inside. Uh, you may notice that it's a kind of a rainy day today. And it's good for close-ups, uh, not so good for the wide shots, though. Um, and then, of course, I did spend some, a little bit of time out on the street, uh, too, but it's pretty hard. This is a big crane, and when you're down on the street, it's 
pretty hard to get a good uh, shot that shows much of it looking down the street, but I did what I could, so, you know, you can only do what you can. Little side note here, leaning up against the wall, you can see that pole there. That's actually the support from the overhead electric wires that was taken down. It normally juts out from the uh, uh, telephone pole in this way and would hold the electric wires for the bus. But obviously that would have been in the way of the crane, so they've, that's what the guys we saw in the yellow truck were taking down. Uh, here you can see some more pieces of the crane coming in. Uh, there are actually even more that you don't see here. Um, and uh, give a shout out to the traffic controllers out there doing their thing. Hey guys. So while I was busy uh, looking at the trucks bringing in more pieces, uh, they raised up those two uh, large uh, supports there. I don't know what you would call them. Like, again, like I said, I don't know uh, a lot about cranes, so I don't know what the technical term for those are, but they raised them up when I uh, wasn't looking. Uh, that's a problem uh, on the usual weekly time lapses that I do. I have the luxury of several cameras just pointed running all the time hoping I catch something but when I'm out in public areas like this I don't have that luxury so uh, fortunately I missed them raising those up. However I did uh, catch this movement of, of those things uh, it kind of reminds me of like a butterfly spreading its wings or something so there's my deep philosophical uh, thoughts for uh, this video. Of course, when I see this kind of stuff, it always reminds me of, uh, you know, putting together that IKEA furniture where you got to insert pin M into slot J using tool Y and then blah, 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 do something else. Uh, it always seems like uh, when I do that, it never quite works out exactly like the instructions say, but my guess is that these guys have done this before. That uh, large uh, cotter pin, I guess it would be, that he's got there uh, looks a lot like a giant safety pin, basically the same principle. I am going to throw in some music here. I will be back every now and then to throw in a few comments, but I don't really have enough to say to fill up the entire length of this video. You probably don't want to hear me making stupid comments to, uh, just to take up the time. So I'll throw in some music here. Uh, feel free to listen to your own if you want to, or stay with this if you want to hear my uh, comments such as they are. I sometimes do get comments on the channel about the music, which I chuckle about. You know, it's uh, really hard as a YouTube creator to get good music because uh, it's expensive. And uh, the videos on this channel are long. They're 20 to 40 minutes. And uh, buying a license for really good music for 50 minutes uh, is not something I can do every video. So 
I take what music I can get, so I hope you understand. Uh, the music may not be first class A number one, but it's the best I can do, the best I can afford, you know. So anyway, I'll throw in a little bit of music here. I'll be back from time to time.
Here I notice they actually do have instructions just like the IKEA furniture. You see right there, it's got an arrow pointing to where you're supposed to connect the chain, just in case you forgot. Here I notice they're using good old WD-40. Yep, it's got a thousand and one uses. Thank you. 
Well, as the crane gets uh, longer, they've got to reposition the, the white crane that's being used to assemble the red crane, which will be used to disassemble the tower crane. And uh, while they're doing that, uh, got to be careful not to <laughs> not to run into the truck that's parked there. I wonder. Uh, I don't suppose they've had to uh, put anything in the parking meters for this crane. I, I don't know if there's a special parking meters rate for cranes. I don't actually know, but I imagine to get a permit to close the street like this, they probably had to pay big bucks to the city, so that's in lieu of any parking meters. You know, I'm just glad I didn't have to parallel park a crane back when I got my driver's license. And just when you thought that was the whole crane, nope, uh, there's still more pieces coming in. At this point I decided to uh, head down to the street, see if I could get some shots from a different angle, kind of shake things up. 
Uh, you can get a good view of uh, all the big weights there, but uh, not a very good view of what they're doing up there. Uh, this is the problem with trying to do anything from the street. Uh, it just doesn't work out as well as I hoped, uh, not to mention the traffic uh, getting in the way. Okay, there, that finally is the very end of the crane. As you can see, it pretty much takes up the whole block. There wasn't a lot of room left over. Back out on the street, they've tilted the crane up now. It's not extended, so this is the crane at its lowest. Uh, it telescopes out from there. Uh, so in, on the left, you can see tower crane number two. Uh, that's the crane on the left, and it's going to take that one down so you can see how far it telescopes up. I'm not sure telescope is the right technical term, by the way, but that's what I'm using. And there you can see the uh, hook going up, as well as a number of pedestrians who I'm trying to avoid. And now they've put the uh, crane back down in its uh, resting position, I would guess you would call it. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. Uh, this is how it'll stay overnight when it's not in use. It's all ready now for use tomorrow to start taking down tower crane number two, and that'll be in a separate video. Uh, this crane is so long that they actually have uh, wheels and tires on the end for the end of it to rest on when not in use. Okay, I'll sign off with a long shot from way up the street. On the left, you can see the new mobile crane in its resting position. On the right, you can see the whole building. And dead center is tower crane number two, and that's the tower crane that that mobile crane is going to take down. So the mobile crane will actually extend higher than that. 
We'll see that in another video coming up eventually, as soon as I have time to make it. Not sure when that'll be, but I will get to it eventually. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you later.